On Sunday, former President Donald Trump was the subject of yet another apparent assassination attempt, the second in roughly two months. This time, shots were fired from the Secret Service at Trump National Golf Club in West Palm Beach, Florida, where the former president was golfing. The Secret Service, moving ahead of the Republican nominee on the course, spotted the barrel of a gun sticking through the bushes that aligned the course. According to the New York Times, investigators say cell phone data shows the suspect appeared to have waited near the golf course for about 12 hours. Officials say the suspect, identified as 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Routh, was roughly 400 yards away. He was engaged with gunfire from security, and he eventually fled the scene. He was captured not too long afterwards and charged with possessing a firearm as a felon and possessing a firearm with an obliterated serial number. President Joe Biden released a statement and had this to say, quote, I've been briefed by my team regarding what federal law enforcement is investigating as a possible assassination attempt of former President Trump today. A suspect is in custody, and I commend the work of the Secret Service and their law enforcement partners for their vigilance and their efforts to keep the former president and those around him safe. I'm relieved that the former president is unharmed. There is an active investigation into this incident as law enforcement gathers more detail about what happened. As I've said many times, there is no place for political violence or for any violence ever in our country. And I've directed my team to continue to ensure that the Secret Service has every resource, capability, and protective measure necessary to ensure the former president's continued safety. End quote. Donald Trump, however, believes it is the rhetoric from his opponents on the left causing this to happen, saying of the shooter, quote, he believed the rhetoric of Biden and Harris, and he acted on it. Their rhetoric is causing me to be shot at when I'm the one who's going to save the country. And they're the ones that are destroying the country, both from the inside and out, end quote. First thing first, first things first. Thank God nothing happened to President, to former President Donald Trump. Let's get that out of the way first. No matter what you may think of him or what have you, we don't wish and we shouldn't wish that kind of violence upon anybody. So let's get that out the way. Number two, respectfully to former President Donald Trump, if you're going to blame the rhetoric of Biden and Harris and the left, what about your rhetoric? They're trying to destroy the country. You're trying to save the country, et cetera, et cetera. Isn't that rhetoric just as incendiary? So those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, figuratively speaking, of course. Number two. Number three. Why isn't Ralph dead? Nobody's saying it yet. I'm going to say it. Because you see, when we talk about folks, particularly African-Americans in this country, and you talk about people being shot who were unarmed, why is this man arrested? See, most of the time in the past, folks knew better than doing certain things because you knew something was going to happen to those folks. Just like it happened during the first assassination attempt against Donald Trump. I'm not saying that I wish it upon him. I'm saying about expectation. Arrested after fleeing the scene when you tried to assassinate the former president of the United States? Don't let me find out it was some case similar to Dylan Roof that went to a South Carolina church, shot and killed nine people, and the cops picked him up, arrested him, and took him for a stop at Burger King. Don't let us find that out. But let me say something else. Because it's important to point out. Nothing had better happen to Donald Trump. God help this country if it does. Because if something happens to him, considering the rhetoric considering the violent tendencies that we've been witnessing from people, considering the mayhem that's been taking place throughout America over the last few years or so, all it's going to serve is as an excuse for somebody to try to do something to somebody on the left, whether it's Biden, Harris, or somebody else. We don't need, we need to shut that down collectively. We need to come together as a nation and make sure everybody understands there's a standard that will be upheld. 
This is a democracy. This is America. You don't get to just do what you want to do. We're a civilized society. And we don't go for all of that mayhem. In a democratic society, we don't like you four years, your behind is out. Six years if you're a senator, two years if you're a congressional figure. We lean on that to make sure you recognize you're not a perpetual prisoner to the political system that hovers over all of us. We're, we're, we're a land of laws. Let's make sure we remember that. And let's make sure that we enforce it with the stiffness and rigidity that's necessary to provide the strongest disincentive for anybody to do something like that. Because you know, as well as I do, if anything happens to somebody on the left, somebody on the left is going to do it to somebody on the right, or at least try to, and vice versa. If something happens to Trump, somebody's going to try to do something to Harris, somebody's going to try to do something to Biden, or, or Lord knows what else. We need to collectively come together and make sure everybody understands where we're coming from as a society that even despite our differences and despite how adamant we are about our differences, we have faith in one another as a nation that we can overcome anything without resorting to that kind of insidious behavior. That's all I want to say about it. Biden and them talking about he's instructed Congress to do whatever it can, that Trump needs more security detail, et cetera, et cetera. You're damn right he does. He should have, he and Kamala Harris should have the same kind of Secret Service security detail as President Biden. That is true because that's how volatile times are. And they're saying that they got about 8,000 Secret Service members and they need like 9,800 or something. They're like seven or, eight, seven or 1,800 short. 17 or 1,800 short. Get them. We find money for everybody else. We find money for everything else. You can find money for this to get more personnel to ensure their security because they're saying if Trump had more security, they could have shut down the golf course and he would have had nothing to worry about. And it wouldn't have been somebody in the bushes 400 yards away. Do what it takes to ensure the welfare and well-being of these individuals that are running for the presidency of the United States of America. Because if anything happens to any of them, all that awaits us is mayhem. And we don't need that. That's it for today's edition of the Stephen A. Smith Show. I'm about to get on out of here. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Thanks again to my man Chris Carter for coming on the show and joining me on this Football Monday. I'll be back with you in a couple of days. Until then, peace and love, everybody. It's Stephen A. signing off. God bless. 